<laughs> Folks, let's face it, the environment is everywhere. And we gotta protect the environment at all costs. And by protect, I mean protect our right to drill it, burn it, frack it, flip it, reverse it. It's work, flick, 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 and wet now. <laughs> Liberals, they see the environment as something you can't touch. All they care about is polar bears. And I'm like, guys, we've already tricked them into giving us the Coca-Cola recipe. <laughs> we don't need them anymore. Because the environment's main purpose is to support business. Trump knows this, which is why he appointed my man, Scotty Pruitt, to run the Environmental Protection Agency. We shouldn't put up fences. We should, we should it, to say, we've got this tremendous natural resource, don't touch it. It's so pristine, don't touch it. We should be about what? Managing that natural resource. Exactly, managing. Like any good manager, he's there to take a good piece of land and get the most money out of it. It's about time the environment got a pimp, and we got one now. <laughs> and running the EPA, that's a dangerous job. When you're on the right side of history, you're going to come under attack. CNN has learned that security for the EPA's top official, Scott Pruitt, was just beefed up. They're hiring more agents, they're installing new security equipment, hiring and training some 12 new agents for that team, 24 7 uh, protection. Yep, yeah, 24 7 protection, I get that. That's why I sleep with a baseball bat under my bed, and why my bed is a bathtub full of knives. <laughs> Scotty needs the same protection because they're coming for him. Who is they? The haters, protesters, Democrats, enchanted spirits of the Fern Gully. <laughs> And they hate Scott Pruitt and his well-documented productivity. When he was Oklahoma's attorney general, Pruitt joined industry groups to sue the EPA more than a dozen times. That's a hell of a fact right there. Put that on a Snapple cap. <laughs> and then throw that Snapple bottle into the ocean for the dolphins to play with. They love that <laughs> Even before joining the EPA, Pruitt was trying to liberate the environment from its EPA shackles. In fact, on LinkedIn, Scott Pruitt's profile still says that he is a leading advocate against the EPA's activist agenda. <laughs> which technically is still true. And since Pruitt already knows all the EPA's vulnerabilities, he doesn't need to waste any of his time talking to bug nerds and plant dweebs. And he isn't. CNN reported this week that less than 1% of Pruitt's meetings are with environmental groups. Now, you and I know that CNN is fake news, but sometimes they report news that I like, and that means it's real. <laughs> Chuck, throw the chart up. God, oh, I love this chart. Right here at the top, the majority of Pruitt's meetings are with industry stakeholders, like fossil fuels, manufacturing, and mining. And down here, this little sliver, that's environmental groups, which get fewer meetings with Pruitt than miscellaneous, which... <laughs> Which, by the way, for Pruitt, that's mostly the 15 minutes he takes every day to pour a bunch of tiny water bottles down the sink. <laughs> now, if anyone at home is not hydrating your sink, you gotta start hydrating your sink. <laughs> it's not just Pruitt. You can see the EPA changing all over, from staffing to their positions on which chemicals can kill you. The United States for decades has struggled to properly regulate chemicals. There was a struggle that's played out in the, since the start of the Trump administration in which uh, the career people that have worked there, they were being overridden by the new appointees. And these new appointees, in a number of cases, had come from the chemical I industry itself. Yes, more foxes in the hen house. <laughs> to be fair, it's basically a fox house at this point. <laughs> with a couple of traumatized chickens in the corner just <laughs> waiting to get managed. <laughs> and, and here, when the New York Times, which is made out of dead trees, hypocrites, <laughs> When the New York Times emailed the EPA asking about why some of these chemicals had been deregulated, the EPA snapped back with, no matter how much information we give you, you would never write a fair piece. The only thing inappropriate and biased is your continued fixation on writing elitist clickbait trying to attack qualified professionals committed to serving their country. Oh, New York Times, you just got burned. Worse than Eric Trump in four minutes of sunlight. <laughs> I know. By the way, Eric, buddy, you and I, us porcelain men, we gotta use SPF 50 or higher. <laughs> Talk to you later, bro. But the hater left is still hating, coming after our EPA chief with everything they got. Luckily, Scott's got a secret weapon. Scott Pruitt is spending $25,000 in taxpayer money, your money, to build a cone of silence at his agency, a soundproof room where he can make phone calls or have meetings. A cone of silence was the only ice cream I was allowed to order as a child. <laughs> Scott needs this soundproof booth. 
With that many meetings on your schedule, you gotta focus. Otherwise, outside forces will pollute your opinion. He's protecting the environment, his own environment. <laughs> and this booth will help keep him and his ideas safe. And we need to keep him safe because guys, he's the only Scott Pruitt we got. And we all share him. Once he's gone, he's gone. Probably into lobbying somewhere. <laughs> so he can't take enough precautions over something so precious and rare. He's protecting business, which is the one natural resource that America can't live without. It's the... I just want to say, Jordan... This whole thing is ridiculous. Bill, Bill Nye, you're not supposed to be out here until Act Three. I made that very clear. I originally came out here to complain about, well, to complain about the whole show in general. But then <laughs> I heard this EPA stuff, Jordan. The environment is being irreversibly damaged by these sorts of. No, 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 Bill Nye, I'm not taking new information right now. Protect me, protect me. I need protecting. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. We need Good. to have an open dialogue. No. No, Bill, no, I can't hear you, I Bill. You can't I can't hear you, Bill Nye. You I can't hear you, Bill Nye. I don't want your new information. 